first for that makeup tutorial we're starting with the Nivea aftershave balm because that contains glycerin and glycerin makes our makeup stay longer so after that I um, used the lip liner because that was the easiest way to just start to line out the part at the mouth area so I had a picture and that was a really good idea because otherwise I would have been completely lost I think After lining everything out now we have to first clean everything a little bit uh, where the lines are not the cleanest and um, then begins the fun part because we're now gonna use face paint and I um, made my brush a little bit wet before because that helped me a lot to um, blend the color in. Then I used for setting the matte um, powder of essence. Now we're gonna blend in that foundation of MAC. And for the parts which were a little bit more difficult to, um, to blend in the color, I just used a damn beauty blender and a precise brush. Then I um, concealed my under eye area with the Naked Skin Concealer of Urban Decay. And blended that in with the damn beauty blender. And after that I just used again the um, Matte Essence Powder just set everything and before and now I forgot something yeah exactly I forgot to um, set first with a normal powder mine is also from Mac I will list every product down below I promise um, to set first the foundation and then I just filled in my brows Then we're now gonna start with the lids. So I thought first to use MAC Naked Lunch to just create a little bit of depth in the um, eye crease, the crease area and also to help us blend everything later better together. So we want to create now a cut crease. So that means that we need a really harsh line um, between our lid and the crease and upwards we want to blend everything in together. And I'm using for that um, of Makeup Geek the brown color first and blend everything upwards again. Then I use the purple color because I wanted to have a little bit more reddish and more um, basically warm and good for a green eye. And the step with um, putting the color in the crease and blending it out again, I just repeated that on and on till I had the perfect intensity I wanted to have. Then I used White Lies of Makeup Geek and put that on the lid. 
after that I used a different brush but really precise just to make that line a little bit more harsh. Then I used that silver color over the white because I thought that could be a little bit more fancy but I, to be honest I'm not sure if that made that much difference. Then I applied again the purple color because I like that color too much and blended everything together with a brown color. So then I used again the brown eyeshadow under um, the lower lash line because we want to have a really bold lower lash line. And I basically used the same colors that I used on the lid. And to, inten and to intensify everything I used the black color, the black shadow of Makeup Geek. And, hold. and also here, blending is important. Then I started to um, draw the triangles. To be honest, that was not easy. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of the bad consistency of my um, eyeliner or if it's just the, the eye area, which is just shitty to, to apply apply something like that but I just um, cleaned everything with foundation and a q-tip. Then I uh, tried to bronze a little bit my face and to contour, but obviously it's not that easy when you already have that mouth part on. Then I applied the other triangles. created that little tear because I saw that on um, a lot of these gangster clown tattoos and I thought that could be a good idea. Then I also um, drew the diamond shapes. And filled them in but to be honest that was not easy because all my eyeliners were not in the best quality and intensity so I just used the um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pen and that helped a lot. After that I just um, outlined the mouth part and also blended everything after just to create a little bit more dimension for that part. Then I did the clown nose and how you can see I just put on first some little dots to create the perfect round shape. Then I intensified my um, upper lash line with a little bit of eyeliner and curled and put mascara on the um, lashes. And off camera, I also applied false lashes of MAC in number 43, I think. Then for the lips, after a short dance, because I'm sitting there really, really long, so. <laughs> I lined them first with a red lip liner, but then I decided to get a little bit more darker with a um, black eyeliner, I think. Then I applied um, red lipstick this one is a matte one, I think, and lined them again to get them more depth and more dimension and also that dark clownish um, black and red. Then I put a little light spot on my nose with the white face paint 
and drew some lines next to my lips. And that's basically it. If you enjoyed watching that video, please like, comment or subscribe. I would be really, really, really happy. And I wish you a wonderful, happy Halloween and see you next time. Bye.